Stacy from Boy Mom Crochet Life here and today we're going to go over some crochet basics to get you started. So the very first thing that you may be wondering is what size crochet hook do you need? All you have to do is find it on your yarn ball here. It's five and a half millimeters for this number four or worsted weight yarn. So we have our five and a half millimeter hook. See that? And we're gonna get started. The very first thing that you need to know how to do is make a slip knot. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to hold the tail in your hand, take the yarn, wrap it around your finger, all the way around, pop it off your finger, push the rest of that tail through, pull it tight. Pretty easy. Go over it one more time. Hold the tail in your hand, Wrap around your finger all the way, pop it off, push the rest through your loop, pull it tight. Okay, and so now we're going to put that onto our hook, kind of snug it up to the hook. You don't want it too tight, you want it to be able to move on your hook so that way you have loose enough stitches. And the next thing we're going to learn how to do is chain. And this is how you'll start most crochet projects, uh, at least until you learn how to do foundationless crochet stitches, but usually this is how you will start things out. And what you do is you yarn over the hook and then you just pull it through. So back up, yarn over, and pull it through. And the hardest part is making sure that you don't make it too tight because a lot of people tend to want to hold this working yarn really tight and then just kind of force it through there. But when it comes time to work back through it, it's really tight and it's hard to get your hook back into it. So instead of doing that, we'll make sure we have a little bit of play there and pull it through. Let's chain about 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, tip. <clears throat> I got a little bit tight on the last ones because I was running low on yarn. So we'll see how that affects us. So now what we're going to work on is single crochets. So what we want to do since we're working on a shorter stitch, we're going to skip this first chain, which is kind of tight already. Anyway, and we're going to work into this next chain. Now, there are actually a couple ways you can work into a chain. The easiest way and the way I would recommend when you're first learning is to just work into the side all the way down with the V facing you. See the V side? But when you get a little bit more comfortable with crocheting, I would suggest turning it over. And you see this back bump here, right here, along all of them. If you work into that, then the whole underside of your piece looks like this. And it looks a lot more finished than the way it's gonna look with what we're gonna do today. That's not to say that it, it's gonna look worse how we're gonna try it. It just, you know, you might want to put a border on it when you're done. It's up to you. I've left plenty of stuff and it looks fine if you don't want to do a border. <clears throat> so now we're going to do a single crochet. We're going to take our hook, skip this first chain, go into our second chain, yarn over, we'll pull up a loop. That's what that's called when you pull it through like that. Then we're going to yarn over again and pull through both of the loops on our hook. And that's a single crochet. So again, we'll go into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through both. Go into our next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops, yarn over, pull through two. We're gonna do that all the way down the chain and then I'm gonna show you how to turn. Because once you get through with this first row, you're gonna to need to turn to keep going. Okay, so here's our last one. Pull through 
crochet. Okay. So now you can see our single crochets, and it's real tight at this end because that last chain was too tight. So again, the importance of having loose enough chains. So now to go on to our next row, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to turn our work. And so now, the area that you work into is kind of hard to see, but just right in here, we're going to go under these two so you have a little V on top. And you can see now that I've stuck my hook in there, it's a little bit easier to notice. But that's where we're going to go in. And then we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Make sure you don't work down here because that's in the body of the stitch. We don't want to do that. And I know it's kind of tempting because it looks so much bigger. Actually, that's not even the body. That's down into our foundation chain. Excuse me. It's tempting because it's so big and it looks like that's where your hook goes, but it's not. You want to go right under these two loops. So you should only have what looks like one piece of yarn right here. Two if you're looking at it from the top. Turn over, pull up a loop, turn over, pull through two. And that is how you single crochet. Thanks for checking out our crochet basics guide. And we'll see you on our next video where we discuss how to do half double crochets, double crochets, and how to finish off your work. See you next time.